all right everybody how you doing got a video for you today but before we get into that i just want to let you know to like subscribe comment share all the good stuff do it down below uh so i was talking to a friend michael uh and he showed me some pictures of a new zippo insert uh, apparently they're packing them a new way so i wanted to take the time and make a video on this uh just to show you so i got a brand new vintage look here we'll just take that out of the out of the case and move that to the side <coughs> and uh we'll take it apart and we'll see what's in here apparently oops that's in there good got my little zippo tool here oh man that is that is in there tight i do not oh that took some crack and holy crap i can't believe those are in there that tight that hurt my fingers. That was hard to do. With a tool. Alright, so we'll just take that flint and put it in the... I keep all my extra flints. <laughs> There's a bunch in there that are not even shaking. But uh, I keep a bunch of flints in my 30 odd 6 shell here. So, now let's get this all taken apart and let's see what we got. Now, from the pictures I've seen, they started repacking here these in here in strips just like my video shows so let's see how this one's packed in here and uh you can already see it's a strip it's a strip and it's bent we can see the wick coming up let's see here so let's get that wick off the off the thing here. Let's pull these out one by one and see how they're in there. So these are no longer in balls. And you can see them as strips now. Look. Mike was right. You unravel them and they're already in strips now. See that? They're not they're not done up as balls or anything like that. The wick you can see the wick is through the whole center now. Another spare wick for me here. Huh, look at that. And then there was one ball in there, kind of. But, look. When you open it, look, it's a strip. They're all crinkled strips now. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like you got they got to work on their uh, look how flat Look how flat these things come even that one wasn't really a ball. It was like a it was like a strip So that's funny Because uh, now we'll get around to the review and what I think about this and uh, So obviously they're listening to us and they've seen our videos uh, I made a video about almost two years ago. It's about 90,000 views. They must have seen it because in that video specifically, I show how badly packed these are. Uh, this wick is actually just jumbled up in the video. It's jumbled up to the top of the chimney like that. It's like that in there. Uh, that's how it was. Uh, it's just It was just a mess. You've seen this one came all the way through the strips. Right down the middle, there were strips on the side. It was just pushed off a little bit to the side, and it went all the way around, and it looped all the way back up. And it was you could see the original form it wants to take. It was S-shaped in there. Uh, what an improvement by Zippo, first off. I'm glad they're listening to us, and uh, I've been getting a lot of people commenting, and I just wanted you to show, like, this is a 2023 insert. I've never opened it before. Yeah, you can see right there, February 23. Uh, I've never opened it before, and uh, I didn't know this because I haven't been opening any new inserts. Uh, the last insert I had was a 2020, and it was all balled up. Uh, so they've started doing this in the at least the last year or two, uh, when I posted that video, but the one thing that stands out to me about that video is I mentioned in the video, I say, uh, you know, this is giving new Zippo users uh, a bad rap, like a, a bad taste in their mouth and a bad feeling because when the wick was like how it was before, jammed up to the front and it was just a bunch of ball stuffed in there, uh, their Zippos weren't lasting more than a day or two and everyone hated them, like, oh, I gotta fill this up all the time. But meanwhile, us people in the Zippo community who know how to flatten these out and pack them in there the way I show you with the strips and the cotton, uh, 
you know you can get a week, week and a half with your Zippo. Uh, so if it was performing like that out of the box, people would be a lot happier with their Zippo. And we have talked about this for years on the channel. Funny to see it actually uh, come to truth now. They've seen the video. They realized it was a problem. They've seen the comments. They've seen all the people. Uh, there's one guy on that video. with He's got over 100 likes, and his comment is that he's from India, and his Zippo only used to last a day and a half, and now it could last a, a 7 to 9 or something. I can't remember exactly what he said, but it's around there. Uh, well over a week, and he was extremely happy with it. And... Uh, you know, people are using this all around the world and they're using my techniques and my tricks and they love it. Zippo decided they're actually going to do something about it. They instead, they like, look, these are not cotton balls. These are crinkled up strips. Like you see that, like they're crinkled in there and the wick is crinkled around them in there. Uh, that is, that is amazing. That's pretty, that's pretty interesting. I think, uh, I can't believe they started doing that. It's about time they listened to us though. And, uh, you know, their product, uh, people who review the products and reviews and stuff uh, probably caught wind of this and uh, seen the video and seen what I was doing and how I was doing it and they decided to do it themselves uh, a big step up for Zippo I got to give the nod to Zippo here like what like uh, yeah they copied my idea but at least they did something about it you know what I mean uh, now people are probably buying their Zippo inserts and they're lasting a whole week right from the get-go like right from out of the box now instead of it lasting a day or two because the wick is getting choked from the fluid and you and it's not drawing anything uh because we all know balls don't wick very well strips wick very well right uh, when the process of wicking is what i'm talking about uh, uh transferring fluid down threads uh, is is better when it's stripped than it is ball it's just common sense it's physics it's science you can't really argue it so that's why it works and that's why everybody knows it works and uh, but what a what a big step up! Our interesting little video here. I was really excited to see that that they're doing that with the new inserts. Uh, you know what? I just wanted to give Zippo credit where credit is due. Thanks for listening to us. I really appreciate it. Another example is this: as they now have the rose gold insert, uh, but you can only get it in limited edition Zippo. Let's see if they uh, add it to the regular sale, so I can just buy one on its own. I'm not a big fan of the Zippo. I really just want the insert. Uh, but I will wait to see if they sell them individually to get one. So anyways, uh, if you guys didn't know this, uh, let me know down in the comments of what you think. Uh, any comments, any praise you want to give the Zippo down there. Clearly they're watching and reading. So everyone take care. I'll see you in the next one.